Hello, as you know, my name is Kain Son, the Tech Pro, and today will be the one of our 30 days challenge in Hacker Rank. We already covered the zero, hello world, and this is the one we are going to be talking about data types. It's also going to be very simple, so the, the difficulty here is easy. Okay, so let's see. So as I used to say, please uh, read all the um, text provided, the objective, the task, the notes, input format, and output format. Especially even if you know what it is, please try to read it. And if you are joining for the first time, please subscribe and also like and share my videos. Okay, let's see. We are discussing data types and check out the tutorial tab. Now my tutorial tab will be here. So I'm going to be explaining right here in my whiteboard as we go. And also we are going to be writing the code right here in PyCharm. The task is complete the code in the editor below. The variable ID and S are already declared and initialized for you. You must declare three variables, one of type int, one of type double, and one of type string. Read three lines of input from std in according to the sequence given in the input format section and initialize your three variables. And use a plus operator to perform the following operations. Print the sum of i plus your int variable on a new line print the sum of d plus your double variable in to a scale of one decimal place on a new line and concatenate s with a string you read as input and print the result on a new line. All right, so let's see. So the first line should be you read an integer and you must sum it with i. The second line contains a double that you must sum with d and the third line contains a string that you must concatenate with s. And then the output is going to be print the sum of both, the, both integers on the first line, the sum of both doubles to a scale of one decimal place on the second line, and then the two concatenated strings on the third line. So let's see how it plays out. So we can see here we have sample input 12, 4.0, and then in this case we have this. So in this case we have 12 plus 4, we have 16. And here we have, so we have, we have 4, we have 12 plus 4, 16, we have 8 plus 4, 8, and we have hacker rank concatenated with this other string. All right, so let's go do this right here. So the first thing we want to do is to read an integer, then we read a double, then we read, um, uh, we read a string. So the first thing I'm going to do now, in case of declaration, in Python, you don't have to declare any variable. So we simply have to read this input. So I'm going to say i2 because we already have i. So I'm just going to use i2 is equal to input. So in Python, you have to use the input uh, keyword. And I'm going to read a double. d2 is equal to input. Um, the next one is S2 is equal to input as well. So I think in Python is quite easy. Why I'm using Python is because I'm also trying to help you gain some knowledge of data science because after this challenge, you should be able to also uh, prepare or handle data science related uh, questions or challenges. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna print now is a sum of both integer variables on a new line. So I'm gonna say you have I, you have i4 here, if you drop down, you have d is equal to 4, and s is hack around. So I'm going to print i plus i2. So let's see. So I'm going to say print this sign i plus. Now i2 is a string because when you read i10 from the input in Python, is generally a string. So I'm going to change it to an integer and I'm going to give it right here. Okay, so the same thing goes for the second line. I'm going to print the sum of the double variables in the new line. So in this case, I'm going to print d, d plus d2. So let's see. So I'm going to say print. I'm going to say, meanwhile, this is not correct. So there's going to be i, and there's going to be d plus. This time we are converting it to float. Now, Python does not have a double function, so I'm going to use floats, and it's going to be d2. 
And finally, we have to concatenate the string variable. Now, the easiest way to concatenate is what I'm going to show you right now. So it says the S variable above should be printed first. So I'm going to say print. Now, when you say print, we are going to print something right here. So the first thing we are going to be printing is the first thing like this and the space. I'm going to print the second one. But now I'm not going to give any space between because they are not saying, they did not say we should give a space. Now I need to specify the two items I want to concatenate. So I'm going to say the format and specify the first one. The first one is going to be S because it says it's going to be printed first. And the second one is going to be S2, which is this one. Okay. So once we have this, I think it should work. So let's go down and run this code. So if we run it, you can see that it should work. Let's see for a second. So it worked, it passed all the test cases. So as an experiment, you can simply take all of these and then run it uh, in the IDE right here, but I'm not going to do that at this point. So let's now go ahead to submit. So I'm going to submit this code right here. And you can see that, uh, yeah, so everything worked perfectly. So I think we are making progress. So we've completed day zero, we've completed day one, and now we are ready to move on to day two, which is which will be operators. So I'd like to thank you again. Thank you again for viewing and also remember to subscribe. And if you have any challenges, please let me know in the comment box below. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.